Hey, what's up everybody? Retro Gaming Guy here. So today we're gonna dive into an amazing product that I am stoked exists. This is something I've been hoping would come into existence for well over a decade. This is the BMOST wireless HDMI receiver and transmitter, which actually does exactly what the name suggests. It wirelessly transmits your HDMI signal from your device, whether it be a PC or game console, to your TV or monitor without the use of HDMI cables. You do not have to have a wired connection to transmit your video or audio any longer. This is a complete game changer, but we gotta see if it works. So let's dive in, unbox it, set it up, and test it out. We're gonna be using it today with an Xbox Series S console. Let's dive into it. All right, guys, here we have all of the contents of the box unpacked and laid out here for just easy viewing right now. So we have a regular HDMI uh, cable connection right here, this end, regular HDMI. This would be the female end here. So you would be able to use this basically as an extender if you wanted to. And then the other one here is exactly the same. It's just much longer. So it is nice that it includes both of these different sizes, of course. Now, these two cables right here are exactly the same, and you would use one of these with the receiver, one of these with the transmitter, and these are just USB-A to USB-C cables, both, again, identical. Now, over here, we have some adapters. So this right here takes a regular HDMI and converts it over to a micro HDMI. This one right here does the same thing, but to a mini HDMI. So you would put a regular HDMI connection in this side, and then it turns it into mini. So if you were to use this device with like a Raspberry Pi 4, you'd go ahead and turn a regular HDMI to micro and you'd be able to plug directly into your Raspberry Pi 4. So here we have our user manual, which we're going to take a look at momentarily. And here we have our receiver as well as our transmitter. So the way these work is underneath the caps, we have regular HDMI connections right here. Now, the way to tell the difference between one versus the other is down at this end, you can see this one says TX, that means that that's the transmitter. This one says RX, that means it's the receiver. So very easy to connect these into your console, your PC, or obviously the other one would go into your TV or monitor. Now let's take a look at the wireless HD extenders user manual. So right here, it goes through exactly what I outlined for you guys, the difference between the receiver and the transmitter over here. If we flip this around, it's gonna walk you through the setup process with a couple of different things. So we can use this with a PC, we can use this with a game console, we can use this with a wide range of devices, which is really cool that one product is interchangeable with so many different setups. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this off for right now. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be setting it up today. And remember, there are different ways to do this based on what you're connecting it with. But I'm gonna be using today a Xbox console. All right, guys, so here we have our Xbox console again. And here we have right over here, our transmitter. Here's our receiver. So the receiver's gonna go to the TV. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our cables here. So this is our USB-A to Type-C connection. So I'm going to go ahead and just unwind this really quickly. And the way that we're going to use this is, again, I'm going to grab my transmitter. And over here on the side, you're going to see a port where we can actually plug in that Type-C connection. So I'm going to go ahead and turn around now my Xbox console. And luckily, we have USB ports here. Now, modern day TVs will also have those located very close to the HDMI port as well. So we'll go ahead and plug that into the HDMI out. On the Xbox, USB connection is going to go into one of those USB ports directly next to it. And all consoles are laid out pretty much the same. We're going to have you know, close access between the USB ports as well as the HDMI. So now we got to go ahead and take our receiver. We're going to do the exact same thing. We have another USB-C to USB-A cable right here. Go ahead and make your connection on the receiver end just like that, this is going to go into our TV. So we connect this to an HDMI output on the TV, this to a USB output on the TV, and we should be able to go ahead and exchange signals between our Xbox and our TV. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my TV now. All right, so back here, this is the backside of my TV. I do apologize for all the dust. This is a TV that I really don't get to very often. So right back here, you're going to see two HDMI outputs. And then down here, you're going to notice that we have an open USB port. So they are a little bit separated here. I'm using this one right here. Actually, 
This is an HDMI and I can go ahead and remove that. So now I've just freed up this HDMI directly next to this USB. So I'm gonna go ahead now and here is my receiver. I'm gonna plug that directly into what is HDMI 3 on this TV. And now my USB connection right here is going to go directly below that into the USB port on the TV. And there you go. You can see again, the receivers right here, USB from the receiver to the USB port on the um, TV itself. So everything is connected on the backside of the TV. We'll jump over to the Xbox. So now. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this right around here. We'll go ahead and power this on. And I do have my controller so we can power it on directly from there. And we'll bring this over to the TV so we can see as it connects. All right, guys, so here we are looking at the TV now. And just to prove to you guys that we are connected, we can see that we're able to use this Xbox controller to navigate on screen. And we do not have any HDMI connection from our Xbox now to our TV other than that transmitter to receiver. And we can prove that again right over here. We have our Xbox console and there is our transmitter. Backside of the TV has the receiver. So it does move right over there. We're gonna test this out with some gameplay though and make sure that it doesn't interfere with the resolution or give us any lags or delays or anything like that. So let's jump into it, see what we've got. All right, guys, I couldn't have asked for a better experience than what I had here with this product. I'm somebody that, again, has been looking for a product like this to come into existence for well over a decade. I've always hated using HDMI cables, and I know that technology has made major advancements over the last 10, 20 years. Why are we still using cable connections to transmit our audio and video from devices to our TVs or monitors. It just doesn't make sense to me, but we no longer have to do that. We're now moving into the future with products like this. Now, BMOST has put together an amazing product here. It's stable. It transmits seamless audio and video. We have HD uh, 1080p resolution coming through here. There's no lags, delays. There's no issues of any kind. It's super stable. It's a great experience. And we no longer need that cable dangling from the back of our TV. Because if you're somebody like me, I use a wide range of different game consoles and PCs. My kids use different PCs as well. So we always have an HDMI cable dangling from the back of the TV. It's unsightly. I hate it. It just doesn't look neat and tidy. But it's convenient because fishing to the back of the uh, TV and making your connection back there is a pain. It takes time and you risk knocking your TV off of your stand or knocking your TV off of a mounting bracket. So with something like this, 
we don't have to constantly make new connections. We can simply leave our receiver plugged into the backside of our TV and just swap out our transmitter from device to device. So I can connect it to my Xbox Series S as I did here in this video, game on there. And when I'm ready to connect maybe my PC up on screen for gaming or video editing, I can just simply unplug the transmitter from our Xbox and plug it directly into my PC. And I'd be able to get that signal moved right over to the TV without having to wire and, and make different cable connections to make that possible. It's just an easy way of doing things. And I think this is the future for HDMI signals and for video and audio transmission. So check out this product from BMOS, which actually stands for Bridging Media on Seamless Transmission Experiences, which I think just totally encompasses exactly what this product is doing. So Click the link up here at the top of your screen to get some additional information. This is going to make your life so much easier when using different devices on your TV or monitor. And I'll also put a link in the description of this video. So get some additional information at the very least. This is definitely something I think that a lot of people are going to be using moving forward. That's going to do it for today, though. Let me know what you guys thought of this amazing product in the comments of this video. And of course, hit subscribe to stay in the loop for all future videos. And if you enjoyed the content today, please give me a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube as I try to further grow the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.